Ever wondered who the Vikings really were and what secrets they hold? We often think of Vikings as ruthless raiders, navigating the stormy seas on their longships, their battle axes gleaming, but there's so much more to these Nordic warriors than meets the eye. They were not only fierce fighters, but also skilled traders, innovative shipbuilders, and explorers who ventured far and wide. They had a rich and complex society with a language that has left its mark on modern English and a mythology full of powerful gods and epic tales. Yet, despite their influence and achievements, the Viking era came to an abrupt end, leaving behind a legacy shrouded in mystery. So, what led to their rise and what caused their decline? What was their daily life like? What did they believe in? What traces have they left behind? Join us as we embark on a journey through time to the era of the Vikings. The Vikings, seafaring warriors and traders from Scandinavia, started to make their mark in history around the late 8th century. Imagine a world where sprawling empires and civilizations existed, and then, seemingly out of nowhere, these fierce warriors hailing from the icy north started to make waves, literally. Their homelands, present-day Norway, Sweden, and Denmark, were characterized by rugged terrains, dense forests, and icy fjords. These harsh conditions bred hardy individuals who were as resilient as they were adventurous. And it was this spirit of adventure that led them to set sail across the vast, unforgiving North Atlantic. Their voyages, however, were not just random excursions. The Vikings were master mariners and navigators, using the stars, the flight patterns of birds, and sophisticated sun compasses to chart their course. They sailed in their iconic longships, vessels that were a marvel of engineering in their own right, with a shallow draft design that allowed for both sea and river navigation. But the Vikings were not only explorers, they were raiders too. Their first recorded raid was on the Lindisfarne Monastery on the northeast coast of England in the year 793. It was an event that sent shockwaves through Europe and marked the beginning of the Viking Age. This was a time of rapid expansion, a time when Viking longships became a source of dread for coastal towns and monasteries. They were swift, striking with a speed that left their targets with little time to mount a defense, and the Vikings, wielding their axes and swords, were fierce warriors, their combat skills honed by a culture that valued martial prowess. Their advanced navigation skills and formidable combat prowess earned them a reputation that spread fear across Europe. But it's important to remember that they were not just raiders and pillagers, they were explorers, traders, settlers, and skilled craftspeople. Their story is far more complex and fascinating than the stereotype of the horned helmet barbarian would have you believe. And as we delve deeper, we'll uncover the many facets of the Viking world. A Viking's life wasn't all about raiding and exploring, they had a fascinating culture and societal structure. Now imagine a society where everyone has a role to play, a voice to be heard, regardless of their sex. This was the Viking society, a community that was remarkably egalitarian for its time. Men were warriors, traders, and farmers. Women, on the other hand, managed the household, raised children, and could even own property. Some were even warriors, known as shield maidens standing shoulder to shoulder with men on the battlefield. Now let's talk about language. The Vikings spoke Old Norse, a language that has significantly influenced the English we speak today. Ever use the words they, them, or their? Well, you have the Vikings to thank for that. These are just a few examples of the many words they introduced into the English language. The Vikings also had a rich and vibrant mythology, full of gods, giants, and creatures of all sorts. You've probably heard of Odin, the All-Father, Thor, the God of Thunder, and Loki, the Trickster. Their stories have been passed down through generations and continue to inspire popular culture today. When it came to saying goodbye to their loved ones, the Vikings had a unique way of doing it. Notable individuals were sometimes buried in their ships, along with their possessions, and even their pets. These ship burials, as they are known, were a testament to the Vikings' profound connection with the sea and their belief in the journey to the afterlife. And there you have it. The Vikings were not just fierce warriors and explorers, they were also poets, lawmakers, and traders. They had a society where both men and women could lead, a rich language that has influenced modern English, a vibrant mythology that continues to inspire 
and unique funeral practices that reflected their beliefs and lifestyle. Their influence on language, mythology, and societal structures is still evident in our world today. The Vikings were not just warriors, but also innovative shipbuilders and savvy traders. A statement that begins to peel away the seafaring savages' stereotype and reveals a more nuanced and intriguing picture of these Norse adventurers. One of the Vikings' most revolutionary innovations was the design of their longships. These slender, swift vessels were marvels of engineering, embodying the Vikings' deep understanding of the sea and its caprices. Crafted with an ingenious clinker-built technique, the longships were flexible yet sturdy, able to withstand the harsh conditions of the North Atlantic. Their shallow draft allowed them to navigate both deep seas and shallow rivers, making them ideal for coastal raids and long-distance explorations. These formidable ships were not just tools of war, but symbols of the Vikings' indomitable spirit and their mastery of the sea. But the Vikings were not just explorers and raiders, they were also skilled traders, establishing commercial networks that extended from the British Isles to the distant markets of Byzantium and the caliphates of the Middle East. They traded everything from furs and ivory to slaves and exotic goods, becoming an integral part of the medieval economy. Their trading expeditions helped to bridge cultural divides, fostering exchanges of ideas and technologies between distant lands. And let's not forget the Viking diet. Far from the image of meat-gorging brutes, the Vikings had a surprisingly varied diet. They consumed a range of foods, from fish and pork to cereals and dairy products. They understood the importance of a balanced diet, incorporating seasonal fruits and vegetables whenever they could. This diverse diet not only sustained them on their long voyages, but also reflected their adaptability and resourcefulness. These innovations enabled them to expand their influence far beyond their homelands. Indeed, the Vikings were much more than just fearsome warriors. They were innovative engineers, savvy traders, and adaptable survivors. Their inventions and innovations continue to echo through the ages, reminding us of a time when the Northmen ruled the waves. Despite their power and influence, the Viking Age didn't last forever. As we delve into the twilight years of the Viking era, Various theories begin to surface, attempting to explain their decline. Imagine a time when the once fearless warriors of the North, explorers of the unknown and masters of the sea, started to lose their foothold in history. One theory points a finger at climate change. The Vikings, known for their adaptability, thrived in the cooler, medieval, warm period. But as Europe entered the Little Ice Age around the 13th century, the harsher conditions could have made survival and expansion more challenging. The colder climate would have made farming in their Scandinavian homelands more difficult, potentially leading to food shortages and strife. Internal conflicts also played a significant role in their downfall. Unlike many other civilizations, the Vikings never united under a single ruler. Their society was fragmented into smaller chiefdoms, each with its own leader, often resulting in infighting and power struggles. This lack of unity weakened them, making them more vulnerable to external threats. And speaking of external pressures, the communities the Vikings had once raided and traded with began to grow stronger. As Europe transitioned from the early Middle Ages into the High Middle Ages, kingdoms became more centralized and organized military responses to Viking incursions became more effective. The Vikings' targets were no longer as easy to conquer, Moreover, the spread of Christianity played a part in the Vikings' decline. As the new faith took root in their societies, it brought with it societal and cultural changes that stood in stark contrast to the Vikings' traditional pagan beliefs and way of life. Even with these theories, the exact reasons for the Vikings' decline are still a matter of debate among historians and much remains unknown. The fall of the Vikings remains shrouded in mystery adding another layer to their fascinating history. And as we bid farewell to this remarkable civilization, we can't help but marvel at the legacy they left behind. The Vikings may have disappeared, but their legacy lives on. From their advanced navigation skills that opened new horizons to their fearsome reputation as warriors, they left an indelible mark on history. Their egalitarian society, rich in culture and mythology, was a beacon in a time when equality was scarcely known. The Old Norse language, once spoken by these seafaring people, has seeped into the English we speak today. 
a testament to their far-reaching influence. The Viking longships, masterpieces of naval architecture, their elaborate ship burials and their expansive commercial networks all speak volumes of their achievements. Even their diet tells a tale of a hardy people who thrived in challenging environments. The mystery of their decline only adds to their allure. As we look back on the Vikings, we uncover a rich tapestry of history that continues to captivate us. Until our next historical adventure, farewell.